The question is whether SROH2 is an acid, base, or neutral. So this is called strontium hydroxide. The first thing that we need to note is we have strontium, that's a metal, it's in group two on the periodic table. So we have this metal, and then we have this OH group here. Whenever we have a metal bonded to OH, this is called the hydroxide ion. When we have the hydroxide ion, we have a base. So strontium hydroxide will be a base. It'll produce an alkaline solution when we put it in water. It's helpful to memorize this table of common strong acids and strong bases. So these are the ones you'll see quite often. So OH, we're looking for strong bases. Strontium hydroxide right here. Strontium hydroxide, it's considered a strong base. So you can memorize this table and that'll help you know whether it's a weak or a strong base. Let's take a look at what that means. So if we put strontium hydroxide in water, it'll dissociate into its ions. That's because it's a strong base, also called a strong electrolyte. The strontium, so the strontium, that'll be the strontium ion. That'll be SR, and it has an ionic charge of 2 plus. That's because it's in group 2 on the periodic table. We should also put AQ after it. It's aqueous. It's dissolved in our water here. The OH, the hydroxide, the hydroxide ion, that's OH, and the whole thing has an ionic charge of one minus. We actually have two of them. So let's put a two here. So this is our hydroxide ions. We have two of them. And again, it's dissolved in water. Let's put aqueous after it. And this is what happens when we put strontium hydroxide in water. It breaks apart into its ions. That's because it's a strong base. This is Dr. B answering the question whether SROH2 is an acid base or neutral. It's a base and it's a strong base. Thanks for watching.